Welcome everybody to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm your host Derek Smith and today we're going to be covering the drive hub extension tubes on Coleman and Fleetwood pop-up campers. So the drive hub extension is a tube that's installed at the end of the crank assemblies on Coleman and Fleetwood pop-ups. This is the part that you put your crank handle into to raise and lower the pop-up camper's roof. Now there's some common problems that could be diagnosed to this component. They include the roof won't stay up, it just slowly falls back down. Sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. I turn the handle and nothing happens at all. And the roof being stuck in the up position. So understanding how the system works. This tube compresses and releases the clutch in the crank assemblies. It does it by pushing and pulling the drive shaft in the crank assembly. Here's an example of the drive shaft in the 6311 system. And when you turn it to the right, the drive shaft is pulled forward and compresses the gears inside. When you turn it to the left, the drive shaft is pushed away and decompresses the gears. Let's talk about IDing the problems that they're having and how we can try to fix them. Sometimes you can reset these systems and you don't need any parts at all. The two problems, my roof won't stay up, it slowly falls back down, and sometimes it clicks and sometimes it does not click, are sometimes fixed with a reset. You can try resetting the compression with the following steps. Raise the roof. With the roof fully extended, crank the handle to the right one half or one whole turns. If this is all the pop-up needs, you will typically hear a whine or a squeak from the tube as the compression resets. What you've done is you've moved the drive shaft forward into the tube and the clutch can once again fully engage in the assembly. Now this works when this set of threads and these threads are both in good condition. To stop this from occurring again, stop cranking the handle once the roof is completely closed. Continuing to crank when the whiffle tree is at a stop can create this problem. After the reset, if the problem happens again, proceed to removal inspection of the tube. Thread damage and broken nylon spacers are a leading cause for all four of the aforementioned problems. Here we see a brand new assembly with healthy threads and the complete components. The first step in diagnosing your issue is to inspect the internal set of threads inside the tube and these components. For removing the drive hub extension tube, you can do this in every pop-up camper that uses these systems without removing the body panels. These steps are best done with the campers closed if possible. If your roof is stuck in the up position, brace the four corners before proceeding is recommended. With a punch and the tube braced from below, you want to drive the handle pin out of the drive hub extension tube. Next, a 5A socket with an extension will allow you to remove the nut that is seated inside the tube on the drive shaft. Some early versions used a large slotted flathead nut. These can be stubborn to remove. With the nut off, remove the tube from the crank assembly. Now these parts should come out from inside the tube. Inspect them and place them to the side. Here's a step where you want to take a look at the internal threads inside the drive hub tube. If you see thread damage here, this is likely the cause of your problem. Now you also want to inspect the second set of threads that are now exposed on the drive shaft as well. If you find thread damage here as well, replace both the drive shaft 
and the drive hub tube or the entire crank assembly. If the problem has not been permitted to occur for a length of time, it's typically just the drive hub tube threads that experience the damage. Now these small parts inside the tube, what are they doing? Inside you should find the spring, flat washers, nylon spacer, and of course one of these nuts. These act as a limiter for the thread engagement. With the parts installed, typically only about a half turn is required to engage and release the compression system in the crank assembly. Without them, the tube is allowed to walk further on the drive shaft and can quicken thread damage as more metal on metal movement is permitted. Let's talk about installing a new drive hub extension on your pop-up camper. There are four sizes of drive hub extension tubes and we have all four available at our web store at ColemanPopUpParts.com. The two smaller sizes are most commonly found on upper chain driven crank assemblies. These are always found behind a body panel. The exception to this are some Grand Tour and Highlander units that have a larger drive hub tube that comes through the spare tire. The two larger sizes are most commonly found on direct drive systems located in the center of the bumper or to the left. You can find the kit your pop-up calls for at our web store, again at ColemanPopUpParts.com by looking in your parts book or by measuring the length, you can also contact us for assistance. Now that we have our new drive hub extension kit we're ready to install, the new kit comes again with the two nuts for the drive shaft, a fine and a coarse thread. Confirm which nut your drive shaft takes before installing the tube and set the one aside that you do not need. Next, you want to thread the new tube onto the drive shaft. Make sure the tube is completely engaged onto the drive shaft. I like to use a large pair of channel locks and a cloth towel for this step. Reinstall the internal parts in this order. Spring first, nylon spacer, then your flat washers. A small dab of a medium strength thread locking agent onto the internal threads of the 5 8 nut is recommended. Install the nut and tighten. Lastly, you want to test the system. If the clutch does not engage or you did not hear the clicking, the tube was not completely installed. Sometimes until the threads learn each other, it can feel like the tube is all the way on when it still has a little bit more to go. So make sure that this tube is completely tight when installing the parts and the nut. If you need more assistance, you can always contact us at ColemanPopUpParts.com. We appreciate you watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.